folks, what's up? This is RK from 360 Reader. Right now, I'm going to talk about four tips and tricks that can help you fix the unresponsive touchscreen on your iPhone 12 mini. Just in case you find your iPhone 12 mini touchscreen completely frozen or completely unresponsive, then these tips can prove to be pretty helpful. So, let's cut the chase finally. First off, make sure to subscribe our YouTube channel and hit the bell icon so that you won't miss any update from 360 Reader. The very first solution that I would recommend you to try out is to force restart a Kahad reset your device. To do it, all you have to do is simply press and quickly release volume up button, then you have to press and quickly release volume down button, and then you have to hold down the side button until you see Apple logo on the screen. The reason why I recommend this solution is because it is known to fix common issues, so there is no harm in giving it a shot as well. The second solution that I would recommend you to try out is to reset all settings. The reason why I recommend it because it is well known for fixing complex issues. So try it out as well. To do it, launch settings app, then you have to tap on general, then you have to scroll down and tap on reset, then you have to enter your passcode and hit reset all settings and confirm. The third solution that I would suggest you to give a shot is to update your device. More often than not, Apple releases software updates with plenty of bug fixes and performance enhancements. That's why it pays to keep the device updated to the latest iOS version. To do it, launch settings app, then you have to tap on general, then you have to tap on software update, and after that you have to download and install the latest version of iOS on your device. At a side note, I would suggest you to update all the apps and delete all the unnecessary apps because more often than not, outdated apps seem to create plenty of problems. At the same time, I would also suggest you to clean up all the unnecessary files because clogged up storage not only tends to slow down the device but also makes the screen feel a bit unresponsive. If nothing has worked, then it's time to restore iPhone 12 mini as new. And to do it, you have to either use Finder or iTunes. If your Mac is running macOS, Catalina or later, you have to use Finder to restore your device. If your computer is running Windows, then you have to use iTunes to restore your device. Simply connect your iPhone to your computer and then you have to launch Finder or iTunes. After that, you have to select your device and hit restore iPhone and then confirm. Bear in mind that when you restore your device, it wipes out all the existing data, including photos and videos. So make sure to back up your iPhone beforehand. Hopefully your iPhone 12 mini test screen has started to work normally. If it has, then let me know the solution that has worked for you. At the same time, if you know any other solution to fix this issue, be sure to inform me about that as well. And I'll see you in the next video. Till then, have a great time. Bye-bye.